AWFP100 addressable fire alarm system mainly includes AWFP100 addressable fire alarm panel, wireless mode detector, wireless heat detector, wireless combined detector, wireless manual call point, and wireless drop sounder. When there are walls and doors, the maximum distance between the detector and the wireless strobe sounder is 50 meters. The panel supports maximum two loops. Each loop can connect to 30 wireless strobe sounders and supports up to 600 wireless devices. The system is compatible with both wired and wireless devices. AWFP100 panel supports multi-language, GSM function, graphic monitoring software, and networking function. Press and hold the power button of the programmer to turn it on. Choose to wireless to enter the address programming mode for wireless devices. First, program the address of AWD-106A wireless strobe sounder. Connect the programmer connection cable to the connection port of the strobe sounder. Because we just finished programming the addresses of Group 1 wireless devices. Now we will program the addresses of Group 2 wireless devices. Choose Group 002. Address 002. Panel 001 remains unchanged. Press right to write the address and the screen will show success. Then pull out the programmer connection cable. Second, program the address of AWD135W wireless manual call point. Connect the programmer connection cable to the connection port of the manual call point. Group 002, panel 001 remains unchanged. The first device is wireless strobe sounder, and the address of the second device can be linked with the first device. So the address of the manual call point can still choose address 002. Press right to write the address, and the screen will show success. Then pull out the programmer connection cable. Then program the address of AWD-603L wireless smoke detector. Press and hold the button of the smoke detector to turn it on, after hearing a beep. Press and hold the button again to enter the programming mode. Group 002, panel 001 remained unchanged. Press increase button to choose address 003. Press right to write the address, and the screen will show success. Meanwhile, the small detector will beep for once. Press the button of the small detector to exit the programming mode. Fourth, program the address of AWD604L wireless heat detector. Press and hold the button of the heat detector to turn it on after hearing a beep. Press and hold the button again to enter the programming mode. Group 002, panel 001, remain unchanged. Press increase button to choose address 004. Press right to write the address, and the screen will show success. Press the button on the heat detector to exit the programming mode. Fifth, program the address of AWD605L wireless combined detector. Press and hold the button of the combined detector to turn it on. After hearing a beep, Press and hold the button again to enter the programming mode. Group 002, panel 001, remain unchanged. Press increase button to choose address 005. Press right to write the address, and the screen will show success. Press the button on the combined detector to exit the programming mode. Open AWFP100 addressable fire alarm panel and connect loop 1 according to the requirement of the loop card. Connect the loop 1 in port of the cable.
to the loop out port on the back of the first wireless drop sounder. Then connect the loop in port of the first wireless drop sounder to the loop out port of the second strobe sounder. Finally, connect the loop in port of the second strobe sounder to the loop 1 out port of the panel. This way, it forms a loop. Next, power on the panel and press the power button to turn on the panel. After turning on the panel, first press lock in to log into the account. For user, choose super administrator and password is 1111. Next, choose menu and panel setup for panel setup. Choose communication, CAN for CAN setup. Change this panel address to the corresponding panel number, 1. Click tick mark to save. Return to the panel setup page. Choose configuration for loop setup. Check whether loops is in open state. Click Take Mark to save. Return to the panel setup page. Choose Registered for device setup. Click Search to search for the devices and wait for 5 minutes. After searching, the addresses of the two previously connected wireless drop sounders will appear. Their addresses are address 1 and address 2 respectively, and the groups are group 1 and group 2 respectively. Then click Take Mark to Save. After saving, click Wireless Drop Sounder to add other addressed wireless devices. Add Wireless Manual Call Point, Wireless Smoke Detector, Wireless Heat Detector. Wireless Combined Detector accordingly. Activate the registration status of the devices and click Take More to save. Next, check whether the wireless detector is successfully connected to the panel. Return to the first level page. Press the button on the detector and the general part of the page will show that the detector is connected successfully. The latter two detectors are the same. The wireless manual call point doesn't have the function of checking whether the connection is successful. Next is the device texting. First, insert the battery of the wireless manual call point. Do the wireless mode detector test. Use the smoke test spray to test it. When the alarm sounds, press and hold the alarm button of the manual call point to activate it. The panel
panel page will show alarm information. Click the remote sounder silence on the panel to silence the strobe sounder. And other wireless devices will also be silenced accordingly. After testing, use the reset key to reset the manual call point. Then press the reset button of the panel to reset other devices, making them back to normal working state.